This segment is sponsored by Velocity Clinical Research. With 80 sites around the world and over 1 million patients in its database, Velocity Clinical Research recruits patients for clinical studies, which is a vital part of drug development. That's right. Here today to talk about some of the studies they're currently running are Dr. Shashir Katan and Rochelle AJ, a site manager from Velocity Clinical Research. Welcome, both of you. Uh, Dr. Katan, good to have you back here. Let's start with COVID flu vaccine studies. Where, what are you guys doing right now? Sure. As you know, there are flu vaccines and there are COVID vaccines. There's new boosters for the COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's research now being conducted to combine the two shots together into one vaccine. Um, oh. What is the be benefit of that or what are they hoping to find benefits of that, I guess, right? Sure, so the benefits are it's one shot. So if you have reactions, pain at the site, some people just don't like injections. Yeah. So one is better than two. And it increases compliance, because sometimes you have to come back for a second shot, it may not be available. By having both together in one shot, you increase the odds of people being more compliant with their shots. Okay, makes it e a little bit easier for sure. And then, right. um, so obviously COVID this ongoing, we've got the new vaccine that's out. Is this something probably it's gonna be ongoing for a while, right? These, these trials? Yeah, these trials may be going on going for a while, but the idea is to combine shots into, into one. So, so there's, there's less shots. There may be in the future combining COVID with RSV and a flu shot, so <laughs> sort of a triple shot once a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah. then those that take place and take part, uh, excuse me, those that participate in this trial, what can they expect? Um, so we're looking for participants who are healthy adults who are 50 years and older. They're going to come on site. We're going to go through the screening process. They're going to um, read the informed consent. We give them the chance to ask questions, address consents. If they want, still want to move forward, we go through the inclusion exclusion. We um, collect their medical history, medication. We, uh, we confirm if they're eligible for the study. If they are, we go ahead and collect um, biological samples. And okay. then since it's a vaccine, we're going to collect, um, they're going to be vaccinated. Um, some protocols require observation with those stay on site, and then we schedule the um, follow-up visits, mm -hmm. which is going to be some maybe phone calls. Some they might have to come back on site and also call it biological samples. Okay. So this study is expected to last for six months, and we are beginning. We're going to begin in like late October. Okay. okay. All right. And let's also talk about RSV. For anyone who isn't aware of what that is, can you just describe what that is or explain what that is, and also what are the symptoms? So it's another player, it's another virus out there. It stands for respiratory syncytial virus. Similar symptoms like the cold, flu, COVID, runny nose, sore throat, cough, achiness, fevers, that sort of thing. Okay, and as far as the participants coming to the study, what is it that you're looking for? Mm -hmm. So in this trial, um, unlike uh, COVID and flu, where there's already antivirals out there, there's not an antiviral available for RSV treatment so far. So in this trial, we're looking for participants who are immunocompromised, so they have heart failure, asthma, COPD, or they're elderly above 65 year olds who contract RSV and they would be given the antiviral or placebo and followed in the trial to see if this antiviral would be effective in fighting off RSV. Got it. And Rochelle, we want people to know that participants are reimbursed, right? Yes, for the time and travel. Okay, Got so it. those that can, that meet the, the criteria, they will be reimbursed for their yes. time and travel. Okay, and you have one more study for HIV. Correct. Okay, tell us about PrEP, what it is, how that works. So PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Uh, and the, uh, what people do is take these medications if they think they're at risk for HIV, and it reduces the risk of contracting HIV by about 99%, so very, oh, very wow. effective. Mm. Uh, there are other drugs already out there. There is a daily medication. There's actually two daily medications. There's also an injectable, but you have to go into the doctor's office and, come and get an injection every two months. Uh, so this trial is a little bit different. Uh, what they're studying here is a pill that you would take once a month. Uh, so increases compliance, mm -hmm. less side effects, uh, and people will be more likely to take it. All right. all right, some great trials you have going on. Thank you for sharing all that with us. And remember, participants, you will be re you may be reimbursed. So if you want to get involved and contribute to pioneering medical research that could help improve lives, go to velocityclinical.com or call 240-698-2800.